So what is my thoughts about the Bigot Master? And I have to say to you guys that since I opened this channel and I reviewed dozens of electric unicycles, this one is the one that I use less since I receive it. Why is that? If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And welcome back to the bench and let's talk a little bit more about a new wheel and this one is the Bigod Master. Yes, I know that I'm a bit late to the game to talk and to do my review of this one but I know that many of you guys was waiting for it and that's why we are here, is to talk a little bit more about this beast but why I'm not excited and just a disclaimer, I will not buy this wheel. Before I talk the bad, let's talk about what I like about this wheel. And first of all, let's talk about the design. In a certain way, I love it, but in the same time, I simply, simply hate it. One of the things that I really like about Bigod and their new wheels, when I talk about the T4, the Monster Pro, etc., these wheels now, they are modular. So it's very easy to reach the tire, to replace it, definitely a plus. And obviously, if there is any parts that is damaged, it's quite easy just to swap around and take things apart and repair your wheel. Something that usually was not easy to happen with electric unicycles, but here, very, very easy. But in the same time, this modular design brings something that I don't like so much, but in the same time, I really like. That is the fact that you have all these uh, protections all around your wheel. But what happened is that the materials that they use on the Master this is really poor, like you can see, this is already broken. Here is already broken. And even the mudguard, you can see that is not here. It's already broken. And the mudguard, I was just trying to put the wheel inside the car and just pressing against my leg, it stays on my hand. Definitely not a cool design. And when we think about this wheel, I have to always think about the previous wheel, the Bigod Hero, that for me was, and it is, one of the best wheels that came out recently and I was not expecting that from a, an amazing mudguard they pass to something that is so poor and so low quality but that's the way that Bigod could bring the prices down but I think that they are pushing too hard in my opinion when we look to the top you are going to have the same screen that you find on the Bigod Hero so definitely a plus but I found that it's harder to see the screen than the other one. I don't really know because I don't have them side by side, but that's the impression that I had. Maybe it's the position, but there is a lot of reflections and sometimes during the day, it's quite hard for you to see what is happening. You have on the top these two controls to turn on, turn off the wheel, and also to take the balance of your wheel. I don't see really the point and we'll talk why. And that is because of this handle. I don't get it. I don't know how a wheel that was so good like the Bigot Hero, they pass to the Big God Master and they manage to make things worse. Everything is worse. So this handle is really, really poor. Don't try to lift your wheel from the floor with this handle, otherwise it's going to break. So for that, you have few options and you can see that many times it gets stuck and it doesn't want to go down. So obviously you should put your hands here and you can grab through this part here that is your stand that also, it's a bit unbalanced. It's not the best stand that you have. I felt that the stand also on the Hero was slightly better than this one. And yeah, you can see that it's quite easy just to obviously put it back in the original position. But I really don't like, I hate these beeps that you could hear. Definitely not the best. So, like I said, you can grab here or on the bottom. You could grab from the front light and the suspension, but this part, it moves around, so definitely not the best place to just grab something that weights 35, 36 kilos, so definitely something that I don't like so much. When we go to the front, the front light is not bad, but at this point when you have a wheel like the veteran Abrams that we know, it had a lot of issues, but that front light was simply amazing. I was expecting to see something on the same level of quality when we talk about front light. I said that that should be the standard for future wheels, but it's not happening, at least on the Master. When we talk to the sides, you are going to have these pads that obviously they are going to protect your wheel in case that you hit with the wheel on the floor. But I have to say to you guys that these pads, you need to remove them because they are not good enough to take all the profit of this wheel. So if you really want to 
ride super hard, brake super hard, you don't have at least braking, you don't have any support on the back to allow you to brake well with this wheel. This tire, I don't feel that is made for this wheel. This wheel, when you are trying to ride, it just wants to go straight. So if that's your thing, and obviously if you want to ride this in the middle of the cars, in the traffic, definitely it's going to be a good solution. But if in the same time you need to go between cars and be very agile with this tire you are not going to have that but definitely if you change this tire for for example a michelin city pro you are going to have already a much better sensation on this wheel in my honest opinion but riding with this wheel i have to say that is one of the best glides that i have reviewed on this channel is really good to ride this wheel but if it's so good to ride this wheel why i i don't get it is because of the lack of quality when we look here you are going to get obviously this is the case where goes your batteries but it's super super thin and very easy to damage so if it's easy to damage the box on the outside for sure it's going to be very very easy for you to damage the batteries on the inside and that for me it's a big concern and that is a massive issue with this one so obviously today is a bit sunny and i was not expecting even that it was so hot if i ride in the uk i need to be concerned about rain you can't ride the bigot master on the rain and i have to say to you guys that this is worse in waterproofing than for example the gotway msp or the gotway rs this is the worst wheel that i tested until today like i said i don't really like these boxes they have some screws and i'm a bit concerned that the water can go in that direction but the main concern that i have is all these cables they are completely exposed so i feel that if i want to ride with this wheel i need to check the weather before i leave my house so for that same reason this wheel i almost never ride since i get it i ride sometimes and like i said i like it for a certain amount of time this situation is really really annoying you need to consider that when you buy a wheel it's not just because it's super fast i don't want to be catched outside with some friends or whatever it starts to rain suddenly and I need to basically wait that it stops raining or I need to try to cover this wheel with a bag or whatever. So definitely not, not a cool thing. Another thing that I simply hate on this wheel is this backlight. Why it's blue? I don't get it. And if you think about it, many countries, it's forbidden to have blue lights on a bike, on a motorbike, on a car, because this goes against rules, okay? Because blue can just be used by the police. And for that reason, I don't get it why you have blue lights on the back. And also this is, is really, really poor. And I can put my hand on the inside where is the light. So waterproofing on this wheel, mm, definitely not a good, good one. But like I said, it's a wheel that I enjoy. But in the same time, you need to consider if you buy a Big God Master, you are not just spending the money that you, you see in here. And by the way, when we talk also about the pedals, they are simply amazing. I really like these pedals. Maybe we can put something better in here. I'm going to test really soon in another video. So definitely stay tuned for that. But these pedals for me, they continue to be one of the best pedals that you have on the market. Another thing you could see was quite easy just to put some pressure here and turn on and turn off the wheel. Obviously, if you are riding, I believe it's not going to turn off. So don't be scared about that thing. And also the pedals when you are riding, they are not really far from the floor. I didn't find that it's too, too hard to jump on it. So definitely a plus. But I'm not just disappointed with that. I, I really don't get it. So let's talk about this suspension. So this suspension, obviously, you have a travel of 80 millimeters. So basically the same as you find on the Emotion V11. And I have to say that the sensation that you have with this suspension, if it's not the same, is even worse than the Emotion V11. I could find that if I have to just jump somewhere, I can feel that it's just hitting the bottom and it can really push you up again. Everyone was blaming that wheel that the suspension was not good, but in 2022 we have a wheel that this, this suspension should be much, much better. And the suspension on the Bigot Hero was quite good for City, and I didn't like this suspension also. Putting all together, if you think to buy this wheel, you need to consider that you need to remove these pads, you need to buy new pads, you need to buy like a plate that is going to cover these batteries on the back you should have like a handle that is 3d printed on the front you can also have a handle that is 3d printed and you can find them discounted on the description below from grizzler pads and this wheel will look much better or if you want you can have the shark pads 
from UC Market, they are also discounted on beneath and also they have the plates and everything to cover the sides of the wheels, even with LEDs. Definitely something if you are thinking about this wheel, is something that you can do to upgrade your wheel. But also, like I said, if you look to this wheel as it is, I really believe that you need to invest a little bit more money to make it worth it. But even if you spend your money in new pads, a plate to put your pads, the handle on the front, the handle on the back to just protect the front light and the back light is not going to sort it out the problem that is the main reason why I don't ride often the Bigod Master that is waterproofing. So if you have one, don't get mad with this review because in the end of the day, it's just my point of view and obviously the wheels that I review, they are related with my experience as a rider. When we talk about the weight, I think the wheel is really good to accelerate, really good to brake. It could be better, obviously, if I had better pads, but I found that the wheel was quite, quite balanced. Even when you are trying to curve, there is a bit of pedal dipping, but it's not massive. So also, if you're concerned about pedal dipping, it's not like uh, on my EX and that I, I hate that pedal dipping. You almost feel that is taking you out of the wheel. Here you don't feel that, but it's just to let you know. And also the turning radius with this tire is not definitely the best. I, I don't like it so much, but I found it quite safe to even brake. With this tire, I can't brake as I like that is just kicking on the side because the tire is slightly too wide for the weight distribution of this wheel. And in the same time, obviously, these pads, they are too small to try to do that. I'm going to do more videos about the Bigod T4, why Bigod is destroying, in my opinion, the market of electric unicycles in Europe. And also I'm going to do other reviews like the Bigod Master Pro and also what is my thoughts about that one. This wheel in weight, I have to say, is on the limits for me. I think that the weight of your wheel should be 40 to 45% of your total weight. Otherwise, you struggle a bit to try to brake and you struggle also a bit to accelerate. With this one, I didn't find that problem at all because I found that it's quite, quite easy to accelerate and brake. And like I said, if I upgrade my power pads, I'm going to have a much better experience with the Bigod Master. But because of the waterproofing and all these issues in quality, I can't really recommend this wheel for you. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.